hello my dear friend welcome to power learning channel so today's topic is very important and today we will talk about motorized breaker motorized breaker electrical wiring for remote start on and off how we will make the wiring of this kind of breakers like you see on the screen these kinds of breaker how we turn on and off these kind of breaker normally not like a magnetic contactor that you will give a single supply and it will be operated so in this video i will explain you all details about the accessories used and how these breakers are turning on and off so as you see on the screen normally this kinds of breaker we see this kinds of breaker are called motorized or motor operated breaker okay so here if you see uh, we have numbers so number one on uh, number one we have reset button for mechanical trip indication on number two we have off push button so also in this option we have a uh, once we install this kind of breaker we have option of operating breaker from two two ways one from one from the breaker itself it's called uh, manual system and once we will install a push button or remote control okay so it will also control by remotely so here you see on number two we have off push button this red color okay so if you press this button so breaker will be off and number three is off position lock okay this is off position lock you can make it lock okay then electrical closing push button number four number four is electrical closing push button okay you can also close from here breaker and number five is as you see here number five this is the push button to turn it on okay and number six is spring charge this is number six you can make it manually to charge the spring okay and number seven number seven is push button locking okay so these all things why i am telling you so you can easily understand the you can easily understand how these breakers are working so as you see in the uh, picture okay these all are motorized type of breaker so all as you see here all these in the panel these all are motorized breaker while this is the manual breaker only here okay so now i will show you first how these uh, what are the accessories used in this breaker okay so here you see first this is mn or uvr here you see as you write it is writing here mn uvr this is under voltage relay okay this is under voltage relay so first you have to see after that i will explain you the function if you see the lever the lever this lever which is coming out okay uh, this is mn okay so uh, how the mn is working i will explain you and now you see this is mx or xf this is called shunt opening or shunt closing as you see here it is different than the other coil okay which we have bigger lever outside the bigger lever outside now you see here the lever is inside okay the lever is inside and the part number is mentioned 33662 shunt closing coil shunt closing or shunt opening both you can use the same coil okay so here you see this is writing mn and uvr so these two types of coil we are used in our breaker for operating automatically okay here you see we have on button and off button on means close open means off so you keep this in mind so now i will tell you the wiring diagram of this breaker okay so here you see this is one of the wiring diagram okay and here we have more okay so now you see here how these coils are installed in the breaker i have a picture so you see in this picture these three coils are installed one is closing coil one is opening coil and one is shunt trip coil okay these three coil is there and there is two button red button is for off black button is for on and there is two indicator after it okay so now we will start our drawing so here is our drawing so first of all you see here is our power supply this is ac or dc power supply okay and the bottom we are using neutral okay so here we have two indication lamp first for open closed okay for showing the breaker open closed in, uh, indication that once the breaker is closed or open open means breaker is off close mean breaker is on so just keep don't be confused with this point okay 
here we installed one more indication which is for fault in case of trip this breaker will be uh, this indication light will be on okay after that here ready to close okay ready to close indication we are using here okay so after that what we have here we have two push button here you see this is number one and this is number two here it is writing closing order and one is writing opening order okay so after that here we have a spring charge indication okay so now i will show you how these are connected so if you see xf which is closing order closing means to turning on the breaker so xf coil is our closing order coil okay so if you want to on the breaker close the breaker you will use xf coil okay xf coil is for closing and if you want to open the breaker you mean turn off the breaker you will use mx coil okay and here this symbol which is showing mch this is motorized breaker okay to charge breaker automatically okay so here we put supply directly without any without any switch okay this direct supply coming here and this is inbuilt switch this ch switch this is inbuilt for protection of breaker for example the, we are not using any switch so continuously supply when coming to the motor it will burn the coil because there is a power supply always so this is inbuilt switch this ch switch is inbuilt inside the motor inside the breaker so you cannot see it physically just you have to connect two wires on b1 and b2 okay so your function will be your charging charge breaker motor will be start functioning okay once the breaker is discharged it will automatically charge it okay and you don't have to worry about anything okay so what is happening now you see here we have normally closed switch which is using uh, which is b3 uh, terminal and b1 is common terminal for the motor okay b2 for motor supply and b1 is the neutral of the motor supply and b3 we are using as auxiliary switch once the motor is charged okay this switch will be get normally close with b3 b1 will close with b3 and b uh, the indication lamp of the spring charge is on so it's mean we will see that the motor is charged now once the motor is discharged okay this indication lamp will be off so if you want to turn breaker off you have to press this opening order okay and the c2 and c1 terminals is for opening of the coil opening of the breaker so you will connect two wires one neutral c1 and c2 you will connect the power supply for opening the breaker same similar a2 and a1 it's for closing or turning on the breaker so you will connect your phase or the power supply positive a2 okay and a1 is the negative or if you are using dc if it, it is this this is then it will be dc or neutral okay here we have supply between normally close contact ready to close contact so this is once the breaker is off this light is on once the breaker is on okay this breaker this light will be off okay this is ready to close contact okay after that here we have sde what is this sd sde this is trip indi uh, trip lamp trip lamp uh, trip lamp for uh, for uh, our uh, breaker okay once the breaker is trip once the breaker is trip this fault indication lamp will be on okay this fault indication lamp will be on and once the breaker is in normal condition this lamp will off okay after that we here we have of1 of1 is simply a auxiliary switch at uh, change over auxiliary switch okay number 11 is the common and number 12 is normally closed number 14 is normally open okay so once you have supply once the breaker is in open condition the normally close contact will give power supply to the indication so it will keep on the light so we will see on the our breaker panel that the power, the breaker is open now breaker is off once the breaker is closed or on okay it's showing the uh, the uh, green light will be on because the because the auxiliary contact is change its position so my dear friend i hope you understand this 
uh, video and you know how to make the wiring for this kind of breaker okay further if you have any question you can ask me okay you can ask me and i will explain you in very easy way so here you see it is writing motor mechanism module and here we have opening order a4 and closing order a2 and b4 and a1 all schneider electric breaker having this uh, numbering okay for abb i will share with you very soon a video so you will understand what is the terminal for breakers okay if you see the smaller breaker the same the same marking is there okay you can see the wirings okay this is for nx 100 to 630 amps breaker okay so this is the way of the winding which we are doing okay so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video till that take care and have a nice day assalamu alaikum